my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to get this look. So basically, I just wanted to play around with makeup. I really haven't been wearing makeup a lot lately, and I wanted to kind of do full beat eyeshadow, lashes, and the whole nine yards. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So first thing I'm going to do is apply my lip balm. Lips are a little dry and crusty. We don't need none of that. And I do have my mirror down here, so if I keep looking down, that, that's why. So to start, I think I'm actually going to do my eyes first. I'm just a little worried about fallout. Um, I haven't used these eyeshadows in a while, so I don't remember if they have a lot of fallout or not. So I'm just going to start with the eyes. We'll do the eyebrows first, and then we'll move on. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you could see a little closer to the eyes, but I'm going to be starting off with my Chella Beauty Brow Cream. I probably should clean this brush. Um, I actually did just clean all my makeup brushes, so I'm pretty proud of that, but I forgot to clean the brush on this eyebrow cream. So really, I don't do much with the eyebrows. Um, with that cream, you don't really have to do a lot. I love that it gives me kind of a natural look. And then I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. This stuff sticks. It'll definitely make your eyebrows like stay in place for sure. All right, so now that brows are done, I'm gonna go in with my eye primer. I am using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Okay, I'm like actually scared to do this eye look. I'm going to put a picture of it up on the screen. Um, I got this from Pinterest. It says uh, the watermark is from Kirsty MUA. So thanks girl, I'm gonna try and replicate this. I don't know how well I'm gonna do it, but we'll see. So I think I'm gonna start off with a neon pink color and I have two options. I have the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is like one of the first ones and I have um, this color right here at the top. It's like bright pink but I also have this you know her. I got this in a BoxyCharm so I did not purchase this from her but anyways um, this bright pink but it is shimmery so I don't know if I want to use this I think I'm gonna start off with the BH Cosmetics color, and then if I need it, I can go in with that other pink. Um, but yeah, basically, I think I'm gonna start with the pink right here, and then I will cut the crease. So I'm gonna go in with my Luxie Mini Round 141 brush. It's just this very, very tiny, kind of like packing brush, and I feel like these are really good to go in the crease with, so let's try it. Hmm, okay, actually, I'm gonna scratch that. I think I'm going to um, take this off with a makeup wipe and I'm gonna put some concealer down first just so the color is more vibrant. If you can't tell, like it's not, it's not coming off very bright and I want it to be super bright, so let's try that again. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of e.l.f. Camo Concealer on top. And to kind of make sure that the color is as vibrant as it can be, I'm not gonna set it. I'm just gonna go straight in with that pink. Oh yes, that looks so much better. Now that I am done kind of packing that color on, I'm gonna go in with a clean brush. This is just an e.l.f. eye crease brush. It's just a little bit bigger than the other one. And I'm just gonna blend with it, nothing on it whatsoever. I'm just gonna blend very, very, very tiny little strokes, just going at the edge. Okay, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with a little more pink again, just kind of brighten it up. And then we'll blend. Okay, I think before I go in with the orange, I'm going to cut the crease right here just with that e.l.f. camo concealer again, and I'm using the Alamar Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name on this brush, but it's just a very flat brush, and this is like my favorite thing to cut the crease with. Okay, so that didn't come out as sharp as I wanted, but my trick to getting a very sharp cut crease is to go in with a angled brush. This is just the end of my Mary Kay brow brush and to touch it up with that same color. So I'm gonna go in with that pink and just kind of like pack it on right where that line is that I want it to be really sharp. So if you can see right here, I messed up a little bit and there's a little bit of a smudge. So I'm gonna go in right there. So I think now I'm actually ready for the orange. I'm gonna go into the Party Animal palette and grab this orange. It's absolutely gorgeous, bright, and neon. So I'm going to take that on a very, very small like packing brush, and this is just from Ulta Beauty. Um, it came with a little palette. Um, doesn't even have a name on it, but I'm going to use this just because it's very small, and I'm gonna pack this kind of right in the first third, and then we'll blend it. Okay, I'm gonna try a different brush. I'm gonna try the uh, Luxie Mini Flat Angled 111 brush. This is from that same little set. It's angled, but it is very small. So I'm gonna try that one. It's a little bit smaller than what I was just using and see if that works a little better. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it above the crease right here and kind of blend that in with the pink. We'll see how that goes. Kind of surprised with how well this is going. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a yellow now. I noticed that hers is a little more like a sherbet orange. So I'm gonna go in, I think with a combination of two with this one and this one. This one's a little more orangey yellow and this one's like a bright yellow from the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. I think I'm gonna do the other eye and I'm gonna wait to do the lower lash line once I have face makeup on. So, eyes are done. We're gonna start on the face and because I have really dry skin, every time that I do like very heavy face makeup, I gotta like moisturize extra hard. So I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. Also, by the way, saying this like however long into the video, um, I'm recording this on my actual camera and the last couple of videos I've been recording on my phone. So please let me know if you think the quality is better in this video or in the previous ones. I personally think that the video quality on my iPhone XR is better, but the sound quality on this is better just because I live next to the highway and you can hear all the background noise of all the cars and stuff going by. It's, it's really super annoying, but there's really not much that I can do about it. So. I'm sorry if you can hear all the cars and stuff. I also recently had like a really bad reaction to um, a new toner that I use, so I have quite a few little breakouts down here. Um, so just ignore those, please. Next, I'm going to use the Essence Prime in Studio HD Hydra Primer Spray. I'm just gonna spray it into my fingertips because usually I would spray it on my face, but I already did my eyes, so I don't wanna mess anything up. Going to go in with a little Mary Kay under eye corrector. Oh, 
Okay, I zoomed you in just a little bit so we can start on the face. I am going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm using the shade Soft Beige. Okay, I'm gonna go in and conceal some little spots with a little bit of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and then my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Light. So to set under, ooh, that's like really bright on camera. <laughs> it's not as bright in person, I swear. <laughs> under the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the pretty vulgar Mad About It setting powder. So for under the eyes, I'm gonna do pink right on the inside and then orange on the outside. So we're gonna flip the colors and just kinda like blend it out, make it smoky. This might be a disaster, but I really want to put glitter on my inner corner. I want to do this um, silver glitter that I have. So I'm going to try and use eyelash glue, like right here. Not put it too close. Uh, I don't have glitter glue, so I'm just going to try it and we'll see. Last time. Time for the face. We're gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer and a really large fan brush. Gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I really, really have been loving these colors for summer. Now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. This is just like gonna be a blush topper. I wanna have some like highlighted cheeks, so we're gonna go in with that on top. I'm gonna go in with a gold highlight. This is the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Okay, I'm gonna go actually on the shoulders and my collarbone with the Cover FX Glitter Drops. I'm just like really feeling like gold right now. So I think I'm gonna try this pink lipstick. I'm a little scared. Um, it's the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Candy. I don't know how it's gonna look, so we're just gonna... I never wear this. Okay, I kinda actually like it. I'm gonna blot a little bit though, because it's kind of a little too shimmery. Not shimmery, glossy for me. And then I think I'm gonna go over it with this Too Faced um, Sugar Plum Lip gloss it's from the holiday collection just give me some little pink shimmers okay so here is the final look i hope you guys like this little tutorial slash just play around with makeup with me um i really like how it came out i think i did a really great job blending i haven't really done a crazy look like this in a long time so i'm surprised with how easy it came back to me um, but yeah, I think it's really cool for summertime. Did some little seashell earrings, little layered necklace, some lace, a braid, a scarf, you know, the accessories. 
but yeah i had a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much for watching if you liked it like comment and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye really crazy, but it's gonna go.